something you feel against your cheek. It's a it's a flow of protons from the ceiling. Some of these are small depressions. Uh, big pop and you tend to think well, maybe two or three inches. I can see death exactly what the air pictures showed when they uh, pushed away a little bit. You can uh, force transmitted through the upper surface of the something more than they can get by scraping on the surface yeah. itself. This is the flag, not the core sample. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. <laughs> I call him he doesn't mind a bit not having television right now. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike, it really is. There it is. Look a U.S. Great. flag on the surface of the moon. Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the That 
flag is on a frame. There is no wind to hold it uh, out like that, of course. It's a three by five flag, and it's a, it's got a it's got a frame of its own to hold it out. Nothing more really is needed here, but it does seem that there ought to be some music. <laughs> Very good. he moves back. I think they're taking pictures of each other with a Hasselblad camera. Yep. Exactly what they're doing. The first tourists on the moon. From their description, it sounds like some place we might want to go after all. Aldrin called it magnificent desolation, Armstrong stark beauty all its own. Different from the United States desert, but very pretty out here. As you said, Wally, the first kind words about the moon from 69 miles up or even 10 miles up was Apollo 10. They didn't think it was so pretty. These fellows on the surface think that there's something about it. Neil, this is Houston, radio check over. Maybe, maybe they think it's not so pretty, but it's their own. Roger, Houston, live and clear. Roger, live and clear, Houston. Roger, buzz. Well, I like the idea of not claiming it, but I think they can claim it for now, at least. <laughs> That's right, it's theirs today. They can't claim it under the Declaration of the United Nations, the United Nations Resolution, which uh, we all agreed to, that we would not claim the moon or use it for military purposes. So this planting of a flag is not the old... Uh, uh, 16th, 15th, 16th, 17th century business of planting a flag and claiming territory. It's to put the United States flag there to let the world know that we're there. To sense the pride the American people feel in this tremendous accomplishment and the contribution like they've made to it. the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the Oh, 